Welcome to Radio 64. Welcome to Radio 64 Video Game Music Remix Radio. I'm your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. Visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. Share your thoughts on this episode and request music by following the show on Facebook or Twitter 
at Radio 64 Pod. And please rate, subscribe, and share this show on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever you get your podcast. The track we opened the show with was called The Crimson Depths by Sam Dillard from OCRemix.org from the game Metroid. That was remixing Crade's Chamber and the Brinstar Red Soil Wetland area. Two things about that song. It comes from the album Harmony of a Hunter, which is a Super Metroid series tribute album. A lot of fun, a lot of really cool music in there. A lot of big, exciting tracks in that one. Uh, it just puts a lot of energy into the Metroid series music. And then, uh, second thing is, I picked that track mainly because I've been playing Super Metroid. I have was uh, I just played through Mega Man X for the first time, and I was hankering for more action Super Nintendo games, so I replayed Super Metroid. Uh, still, still amazing. Still one of the best games. It's just so pretty, Super Metroid, you know? It's just, it's just gorgeous to look at. The bosses are beautifully animated, and there's that one boss, the red boss, that when you push him into the acid, and he, he dies, it's so sad, because he's so gorgeous, but his death animation is also so beautiful. The music in there, in that game, in that series, is just fantastic, and what I love about Sam Dillard is he's able to take those pieces that already have a cinematic quality to them, and just expand this scope, turn them into pure orchestral joy. Sam Dillard is a is a favorite remixer of mine because everything he does is just so bombastic and grand. That was The Crimson Depths by Sam Dillard from ocremix.org from the game Metroid. Up next is a track from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the Gerudo Valley. Man, I'm definitely mispronouncing that. Gerudo Valley source tunes being remixed here by Koji Kondo. The Gerudo Valley is just such a phenomenal standout track from that game. And, I mean, it's no wonder that it's one of those songs that is kind of held as a classic and uh, loved by fans, because it's just so different from everything else in the game. Ocarina of Time has an amazing soundtrack, and so many of the temple themes or locations have absolutely fantastic pieces of music to go along with them. But the Gerudo Valley theme, it just seems to come out of nowhere, that kind of desperado style of guitar music. I I remember going there for the first time and being like, what is this? It doesn't sound like anything that came before in the Zelda series either. It's just such a unique piece of music in the Zelda franchise and in, you know, Ocarina of Time specifically. So this is Gerudo Interlude by DJ Pretzel from OCRemix.org from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time.
That was Gerudo Interlude by DJ Pretzel from OCRemix.org from the game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That is an old remix. We're talking 2001. One of the first remixes I ever listened to. In fact, when I made my first overclocked remix mix CD uh, as a young teen, I think this was like track three on my first disc. Me and this song go way back. I like about it though is that it was just so solidly done back when DJ Pretzel first remixed this that I think it does stand up for the test of time. I think the acoustic nature of of this track specifically helps it helps it last. And again, you're just building on strength when you're playing from the Gerudo Valley theme. People loving the new Animal Crossing that's out right now on the Switch. My wife is a big fan of the Animal Crossing series. She goes through these times where she will play Animal Crossing, the original GameCube one, because we still have it, so she'll turn on the Nintendo Wii and check it out there, just spend some time fishing. The only kind of village farming simulator I've ever really gotten into is Stardew Valley, which I love, and that music for that is fantastic. For Animal Crossing, uh, I have chosen the track Soothing Rain, and it's remixing the track Rainy Day from the original Animal Animal Crossing, the GameCube one. This comes off of the album Esner's Dream, which is a lullaby album of remixes, which is a really lovely album of gentle, lulling remixes of game tunes. This is Soothing Rain by Jamphibius from OCRemix.org from the game Animal Crossing. That was Soothing Rain by Jamphibius from ocremix.org from the game Animal Crossing. You know, I I laugh whenever I see a name like Jamphibius or any of the remixer names that I, I have to 
really work hard to pronounce. But then I'm always like, hey, I'm Eric Michaels, Dusk versus Tweak. So, you know, what What does Dusk versus Tweak even mean? Yeah, that's just a really relaxing, jazzy piece right there, that Soothing Rain track. It has a coffee shop vibe. And, you know, even though it's supposed to be raining outside, it's a track that makes me feel warm inside. And goes with what I've seen of Animal Crossing. Again, haven't played it, but I like that too. The Metal Man theme is probably my favorite theme from Mega Man 2. I I mean, if there if a gun was to my head and somebody was like, "Your favorite your favorite track from Mega Man 2, go." And I was like, "Why are you doing this? What 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 events in your life have pushed you to go to d random people, put a gun to their head and say, "What's your favorite track from Mega Man 2?" After I get that answered, I'd probably say Metal Man. I think it is just kind of the most thumping track on that album. So this is Metal Man Goes Clubbing by Disco Dan from ocremix.org from the game Mega Man 2.
That was Metal Man Goes Clubbing by Disco Dan from OCRX.org from the game Mega Man 2. Just something about that thumping beat. Just always love turning the radio up, turning the bass up, really getting that thing to shake the windows. Our next track is called Grooving Like a 90s Kid. You know what? I'm feeling it. All, all I've been doing is watching 90s movies. I've been playing the Super Nintendo Mini. I've been reading my X-Men comics. I'm just like in the 90s right now. It's like I just want a simpler time. I'm escaping from the now into to the six seven-year-old that I was of the 90s when things were simpler and all that matters was Jurassic Park and Super Nintendo. This comes from the game Terranigma, a Super Nintendo game that I don't believe we got over in the States, but it also comes from the album Terranigma Pathless Travel. I mean, th this song is just pure 90s funk. The the synth in there and that beat strutting down the sidewalk with that giant boombox and then those the, then those vocals come in and start rapping and the song, it, it's as acid washed as it can get. This is Groove like a 90s kid by Joroto, Nigon, Gaelic, Juan Madreno from OCRMix.org from the game Terranigma. Like a 90s Kid by Joroto, Nagan, Gaelic, and Juan Madreno from OCRMix.org from the game Terranigma, specifically the album Paths Less Traveled. Uh, I, I think I could use a little bit of uh, Juan Madreno's guitar in there. I could use a little bit more of that, but for, for what I get, it's 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 solid Juan Madreno. I love, I love his guitar work. That's just pure 90s cheese right there. Love it. This is a relaxing piece. Uh, gosh, I, I guess I just pulled all my old favorites for this episode because this comes from this was remixed in 2003. It's called Rain in Chicago and it's remixing the Blue Fields theme from Final Fantasy VIII, which is a pretty relaxing playing in the background tune from that game. Th this remix really emphasizes the percussions almost 
delivers like a mad waltz vibe to it, though still a, a soothing, played in the background type of tune. While the synth tunes are playing that main Bluefields theme, the percussions are heavier and they're a little bit more forefront than they are in the original track. It's a fun take on the Bluefields theme, it's just a wave of nostalgia for me in Final Fantasy VIII. So this is Rain in Chicago by Zertwa from ocranks.org from the game Final Fantasy VIII. That was Rain in Chicago by Zertwa from ocremix.org from the game Final Fantasy VIII. Pound for pound, Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack is just a monster. Probably, I mean, maybe objectively is best. I don't know. I shouldn't be talking about what Nobuyumatsu's best soundtrack is right now. Uh, but Final Fantasy VIII is 
pretty darn good. Yeah, this track comes from 2004. I just, I, that's what I did. I just pulled all my old favorites. I think this is the last of the old remixes that I'm pulling out here. This is from the original Halo Combat Evolved. It was such a fun time playing that game. Me and a friend would race to get into the Warthog, into the Jeep of Halo. He, he would get in at first and I'd be so upset. I'd be throwing the sticky grenades at him, watching it explode, him dying. Then I'd get in and then it'd repeat. We'd, we'd never get anything we're done. We're just constantly blowing each other up so that we can get the driver's seat of the Warthog. This is a really interesting electronic piece of the main Halo theme. The Halo source is in there. I've always found the soundscape of this song to really emphasize the feeling of space in there. A lot of echo, strange textures going on in this song. It's called Fall From Above, You Can't Stop by Archimedes from ocremix.org from the game Halo Combat Evolved. was Fall From Above, You Can't Stop by Archimedes from ocremix.org from the game Halo Combat Evolved. Yeah, just a really interesting 
way of remixing that track, especially by bringing in that Gregorian chant into that dance club sound. All right, here's a track that blew me away the first time Overclocked put it out. This is called Dolphin Ride by Monkey Kong, and it's remixing Aquatic Ambience. For most of the song, it's a very pretty remix of Aquatic Ambience. It's It's got a soothing electric guitar and some piano in there. It's a nice, it's a nice aquatic ambience piece. And then at that three minute and 20 second mark, this song just melts your face. And that guitar just comes out of nowhere and just sends shivers. It was a huge surprise when OCR put this out and I was like, yeah, okay, this is fine. It's not gonna go up there as one of my favorite aquatic ambient pieces. And then boom! Electric guitar punches me in the face. This is called Dolphin Ride by Monkey Kong from ocremix.org from the game Donkey Kong Country.
That was Dolphin Ride by Monkey Kong from OCRace.org from the game Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, once that guitar kicks in, it just becomes a whole different beast. And then the synth takes on kind of an organ sound. And then the song has the gall to go back to that very quiet piano piece at the end, as if the world hasn't been changed forever. This is a soothing piece. This is called Tears in the Rain by the Level 99. It's coming from Deus Ex Invisible War, the sequel to the original Deus Ex, which I actually hadn't played. So I'm unfamiliar with the Seattle theme that's being mixed here. But I am a huge fan of the album that they put out, Deus Ex Sonic Augmentation. Just a just a solid like eight track album throughout one of my go-to's uh, to listen to whenever I'm reading something a bit sci-fi, very cyberpunk. And you know what? This song, it's mellow nature. It's, it's a lovely piece. It's cyberpunk with a heart, this track. It's called Tears in a Rain by Level 99 from OCRX.org from the game Deus Ex Invisible War. Thank you. 
That was Tears in a Rain by Level 99 from OCRMS.org from the game Deus Ex Invisible War. It's those really pretty electronic piano notes that uh, just repeating that really kind of gets me and creates that mellow vibe, I think. It, it's a really atmospheric piece. As weird as Super Mario Land is, I have a real warm spot for that game. I got that, I must have got that fairly new, maybe in like 1990, I think. I got Super Mario Land and Tetris. My parents, just out of nowhere, I just, I didn't, I don't even think I knew the Game Boy existed. Just one day I'm sitting in the car, my parents hand me a Game Boy with Super Mario Land and Tetris and I was just like what the heck is this and I put so much time into both Tetris and Super Mario Land and I remember as a kid thinking like Super Mario Land is Mario but it's so weird and different and not really recognizing a lot in there. This track that's being remixed is the ending staff roll. I don't think I'm super familiar with it because I think I only beat the game once as a kid. I played it a bunch, but I don't think I saw the end credits more than once. I'm a bit unfamiliar with the source here that's being remixed. That's fine because what Helk is doing here, it just, this, this track decides to do one thing and then changes his mind every every minute it feels like every 30 seconds this track is doing something different by the end the track is not the same thing that it was at the beginning as it is at the end so this is called oh daisy daisy by helk from oc remix from the game super mario land <laughs>
That was Oh Daisy Daisy by Halk from OCRemix.org from the game Super Mario Land. You know what? It's been a while since Halk has put anything on OCR, about two years really, so uh, happy to see Halk back. Welcome back, Halk. That track, I mean, it's weird. It's got Halk's patented 9 bit chip tune sound, but yeah, I mean, by the end, it just feels like a toy box of a song, especially with, with that like music box feel. I always forget it's Daisy in Super Mario Land. I mean, it was Daisy's Super Mario Land and Super Mario World. She was having a moment, Daisy. All right, that was the last track of the episode. Thank you for listening to Radio 64, Video Game Music Remix Radio. I have been your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dust vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. Visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. Share your thoughts on this episode and request music by following the show on Facebook or Twitter at Radio 64 Pod. Please rate, subscribe, and share this show on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever you get your podcast. I'll see you next episode.